in effect the second half of this grand global spectacle featuring the major characters of the world game one is the relative safety of the group stage this is where everything now is do or die one mistake could cost you a place in the quarterfinals everything suddenly an awful lot more serious Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Croatia. Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. Well, Peter, knockout competitions require knockout mindsets. There has to be a more dynamic edge to the whole approach, whether from going ahead or replying to going behind. This is when the adventure kicks in, and you have to be mentally prepared for a more intense pressure. So it's away we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, I'm Eric Laporte. He's a centre back who's one of the best in the business when it comes to, to playing out from defence. He can spark quick counter attacks or, or put his foot on the ball and, and retain it when a breather is needed. He's a very solid defender too. And opposition forwards, they're not going to get much change out of this guy. Yeah, I must agree. He's gone for it! Okay. Up to meet it! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Rodri plays it out to the wing. He's made sure that that won't get through. Rebic out towards the flank. Striding forward, facing goal. And the finish! And it's a goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for. A player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Tries to get it forward quickly. Bless it, and they've been caught out here. <laughs> okay. Across the field it goes. Gaia. Llorente. Modric did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger.
Llorente. Rebic. And it's played forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Now it's Morata. Ferran Torres. Shelko. Spain are already ahead, the perfect start. Well, they've managed to get their noses in front early because they've been much quicker out of the stalls. They've set a high tempo and intensity and look as though they, they want it much more at the moment. And it's Koke. Rodri tries to get up to head it! Oh, he took a hard part right, but not the finish. It was such a clever idea to lift it into his path. And here's Morata. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Oh, it's a mistimed tackle, and it is a penalty. And this could turn out to be one big kick of the ball. Well, I think the key issue here is why he did that and how he ended up putting himself in, in that position in the first place. He's got to be ultra careful from here. To increase the lead. Precisely what he showed. But that's about as cheap as it comes by going right down the middle and may have backfired, but it's working this time. <laughs> Spain got themselves a two goal cushion. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Koke. Rodri. Llorente drives it forward. Rodri. Koke. Look at the defender bombing forward. That right side seems to have become a very good outlet for them now. No doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition and they're willing to exploit it. Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Laporte. Koke. Plays it out wide. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. Rebic. Chaleta Shah. Livakovic gets it upfield. Koke. Martinez. Gaia. Laporte. Lasic. Good idea, just poorly executed. One over. Ferran Torres. Hits it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. 
Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. Vlasic, Kovacic, Perisic, and they win it back again, looking to break out here, he's found his man, oh well defended, that had to be done, cleared away, Rebic, Rebic hits that long, uh, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And that is as far as they're going to go. Hoists it forward. Koke. And for a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Spain clearly seem to have lost their passing accuracy, something they're obviously going to have to fix pretty... Shakes the shoots! Yes! And they are pulling clear here! Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that, you just have to appreciate it. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Spain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Michalko. Rebic. Michalko. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Rodri. Koke. Spain are leading with half-time drawing close. Revic. And it's for Selko. Vlasic. Kovacic. Looks to thread it through. Well read, he sorted that out. For me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Croatia give themselves a fighting chance, back in with a shout. Ball swung in. That has put a stop to that. Rebic. Michalko. Whistle's gone, that's a foul.
Llorente. Kaya. Gets into some space. He's had a goal! The Sholko is there to heave it away. Llorente. He's gone for it! A real chance and a real let-off. Rodri, Laporte, two minutes to be added on. Ferran Torres. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Kovacic. And the first half is done. Well, it's hard to say whether a two-goal advantage under these circumstances is decisive or not, but so far, I haven't really seen enough to indicate that the opposition can come out in the second half and improve to that degree. Well, that has been a goal blessed half. It is 3-1. Already up and running for the second half. And it's Perisic. Ferran Torres, Llorente, hit long and direct, oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger, Rebic, Ferran Torres, Michelco. Vida. Chaleta Shah. Kovacic. Chaleta Shah. Kovacic. Modric. Vlasic. Over to the left. Forward it goes. Gets the. It's Terrasic! Oh, that was no routine save. Perisic sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Done very well to intervene. Vlasic. Kovacic. Perisic. Koke. Martinez, Llorente, he has it out wide now, he's got away. Spain have it back and they can go again. Michelko, and it's Morata, Morata is being picked on here. Yeah, and having notched the goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulders as much as he'll want. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Played into space out wide. Keeper has beaten it away. Dinks one in. He's in space and looking for options. Oh, the ball's... Oh, that is asking for trouble. Crosses it in low. Lasic decides to play it back. Kovacic. Modric. Breaks on here. Finds himself eased off the ball. Llorente plays it forward. Out to the right. And it's for Selko. Vlasic.
Gaia. Llorente. Gaia. And that's been won straight back. Vlasic. And here's Morata. Cut out in the nick of time. Cuts it out. Ferran Torres. Kovacic with the crossfield ball. Vida. Michelko. Rebic. Vashelko. Nice making a foray down the right. Rebic. He's in! It's one! Oh, denied brilliantly! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, that's pretty clear, it is a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. That is gorgeous! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order! Oh, that is a bit special. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. What a ball this has turned out to be. Goes for goal! That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Spain making another change here. Pablo Sarabia, Morata! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Okay. Forward it goes. Rodri. Rodri spreads it towards the left. Vlasic. Rodri battles to win it back. He goes long. Livakovic can pick that up. Think that's offside. Yes, it is. Croatia can make their change now with uh, a break in play. <laughs> Keeper's got good distance on that. Croatia have a free kick.
He's there to receive it. Croatia are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Brings it forward. And it's Morata. Well, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Spain presented with the perfect chance here to open up their lead. He'll fancy himself from here. Koke! Denied by a great piece of goalkeeping. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. The changes then in quick succession. He got amongst the goals here. Massive lead! Would have been game set and match. Rodri really did let them off the hook. They could have wrapped it all up. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Well, oh, that's a booking, always looked it. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Croatia are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Koke. Rapidly approaching the end. Croatia are staring a first-round exit in the eye. And here's Morata. Oh, Pablo Sarabia! Goal of his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Sarabia really thought he'd scored to settle this contest, and he's struggling to believe being denied. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. And he is going into that little black book. Well, what possessed him to do that, Peter, I have no idea. It's, uh, it's not in keeping with the quality of the performance. A real chance if he can get through. Kovacic has made his mark on this game. Spain just have to run down the clock. Brozovic. Thiago gets it back. Has a pop! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Yeah, I thought the keeper did well to retrieve that. They worked all week on that sort of situation and he reacted very well then. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And it's Thiago. Spain certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority... This is gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he?
Spain with a chance here to increase their lead. Koke with a real chance here. Pablo Sarabia! Oh, how's that for a goal? Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. And surely that clinches it. There really is no way back now. Burnley, nicely done. <laughs> Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Out to the left it goes. And that's surely a foul free kick. He's got options out wide. It's always going to be the keepers. Laporte. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So victory in the round of 16, and now a fight for a place in the semis. Kim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Look, it's knockout football.